This is Score Golf, the voice of Canadian golf. Score Golf is powered by Volkswagen, from one good drive to another. And brought to you by RBC, proud sponsor of the RBC Canadian Open. Now, here's your host, Bob Weeks. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special edition of Score Golf TV. This is our one hour summer travel special here on TSN. Over the next 60 minutes, we're going to take you from coast to coast and show you some of the greatest golf destinations that this country has to offer. And we're going to go west to east, so we're going to start way out in beautiful Vancouver Island. What a beautiful spot. Great golf from top to bottom. Let's start our adventure with a visit to the island. We begin our tour of Vancouver Island golf courses with a visit to Crown Isle Resort and Golf Community. No doubt one of the island's best. Crown Isle offers everything that is golf in Western Canada. It started back in the late 80s. The golf course opened in 1992 and so we're headed close to uh, two decades. Uh, slowly building up a community that ultimately will be a small town in itself. Indeed the first thing you notice during a round at Crown Isle is the spectacular surroundings. Views of the Beaufort mountain range are always a pleasant distraction. The golf course itself blends right into the natural terrain of the west coast and it will not only challenge your game but also your senses. Designed by Graham Cook, this 7,024 yard championship course will call on every shot in your bag to negotiate the 68 bunkers and nine water hazards that defend this golfing gem. Olympic View is only 25 minutes from Victoria's Inner Harbor on a site that overlooks Washington's Olympic Mountain Range. Everything is in place for a completely enjoyable day of golf. Set in a pristine evergreen forest, Olympic View features all aspects of nature from cascading waterfalls to jagged rock bluffs. Included in the setting are 12 lakes that give a peaceful feel as you traverse the 18 unique and challenging holes. The signature hole at Olympic View is number 17, a 417 yard par 4 that features a majestic 60 foot waterfall directly behind a green. A perfect example of golf in harmony with nature. 35 minutes north of Victoria in the peaceful Cowichan Valley is another golf course of championship caliber. Arbutus Ridge, located high above the satellite channel, sits amongst nine of Vancouver Island's finest wineries. Named for the magnificent Arbutus tree, this course is part of a unique retirement community that's perfectly suited for golf. Combining abundant scenery with decisive play, an Arbutus Ridge Golf Club experience becomes forever etched in your mind. The charming country setting offers some of the best vistas on Vancouver Island, from the tranquility of the satellite channel to the mighty snow-capped peak of Mount Baker. Also etched in your memory will be three of the most demanding golf holes on Vancouver Island, punctuated by the knee-rattling 214-yard R3 Island Green on the 17th hole. Carved from the Highland Wilderness in Victoria, Highland Pacific's lush fairways thread through a majestic landscape of West Coast forest, rock, fescue and natural water features. The course is routed through rolling hills with stunning viewpoints and punishing drop-offs. Highland Pacific features panoramic views of the city of Victoria, Olympic Mountains, the Strait of Juan de Fuca and Bear Mountain. The new Highland 9 which just opened this spring boasts a similar test of golf with a wider landscape of the city of Victoria and will bring the total course yardage to just over 6,600 yards. Highland Pacific, a great course that just keeps getting better. Located 20 minutes north of downtown Victoria is a stunning 1,500-acre property that features a natural wonder of rocks, rivers, valleys, forests, and mountain peaks. The Bear Mountain Resort features two fabulous courses designed by Nicholas Design, and the Golden Bear has stamped the landscape with his indelible paw print. The mountain course at Bear Mountain opened in 2003 to rave reviews. Just recently, the course played host to the TELUS World Skins game, and the pros were impressed with the panoramic mountain, city, and ocean views set within the rolling fairways and lush forests. Bear Mountain's spectacular new valley course is just as breathtaking and challenging as the mountain course. And just like that other 18, it is a golf masterpiece created by the genius of the game himself, Nicholas. Imagine a golf course so good it even has its own climate. In fact, at Fairwinds Golf Club, the mild climate of eastern Vancouver Island combines with the nearby hills to create a microclimate that even sees the growth of cactus within a kilometer of the first tee. The result is a great round available year-round. 
Designed by Les Ferber, the Fairwinds Golf Club has established itself as one of Vancouver Island's finest courses. Play on lush, manicured fairways lined by towering fir, Gary Oaks, and Arbutus trees. Challenge yourself against the more than 70 sand bunkers that guard our immaculate, contoured greens. Here at Fairwinds, spectacular ocean views, abundant wildlife, and pristine natural surroundings combine for an unforgettable golfing experience. Vancouver Island has everything you need for the perfect summer getaway. Great scenery, great amenities, and of course, great golf. After the break, we'll stay on the West Coast and take a look at Predator Ridge in Vernon, British Columbia. One of the finest resorts out in British Columbia is in Vernon. It's called Predator Ridge. It's a spectacular facility with 36 holes. In fact, the new course won Score Golf's best new golf course in Canada in 2010. And it's filled with wonderful golf as well as great amenities. We want to show you what makes Predator Ridge so special. And right after that, continue our journey with a visit to the Kootenai Rockies. It's hard to find the right adjectives to describe Predator Ridge. Stunning challenging, relaxing, beautiful. Take your pick because this Okanagan Resort community is all of them and more. Predator Ridge is a very special place. It really offers a little bit of everything and uh, has had great success in that regard. Um, from a, an accommodation standpoint, the lodge is phenomenal. 136 guest rooms, cottages, uh, lodge rooms. Really a phenomenal place to stay. The golf is, you know, second to none, definitely. And I think uh, all in all, it's a resort of all seasons. For golfers, Predator Ridge is a 36-hole facility that offers two remarkable courses that might provide the best one-two punch in Canadian golf. Both the Ridge and the Predator 18s provide great golf in one of the prettiest settings in the country. The Predator course here at Predator Ridge is really the classic course. Uh, definitely what people identify Predator Ridge as. Uh, rolling Hills, Fescue, a challenging golf course. Uh, many call it a Lynx style golf course, but certainly one that is, uh, is visually stunning uh, and very challenging to play. The Ridge course opened in 2010 and immediately caught the attention of golfers everywhere. The Doug Carrick designed course has some of the most jaw-dropping scenes in Canadian golf. Sparkling Hill is a great addition to the Predator Ridge Resort. Um, the Swarovski family put tremendous effort and investment into creating a truly unique hotel experience. Uh, between 150 rooms, the Swarovski Crystal highlighting incredible views of Lake Okanagan uh, and a level of service that I think is really unique to the area. To no one's surprise, the course was named Best New Course in Canada last year by Score Golf Magazine. When people finally saw it and saw what we were able to produce, it had great reviews and visually stunning, but also a great golf course to play. Um, you know, it was really no surprise to us, but definitely, certainly, it was, it was a great uh, reception to have for the golf course. The Predator course is no less challenging. It's hosted two Canadian Skins games and welcomed the likes of Mike Weir, Phil Mickelson, Sergio Garcia, and Greg Norman to its fairways. The course has a wonderful balance of length and strategy making it a true shot makers and shot thinkers golf course. Well the first, fifth hole is really the first opportunity that people get to see the lake. It, the elevation is the first thing that captures you. Uh, it measures 240 yards from the back tee but the elevation change really makes it uh, play a lot shorter so club choice is obviously going to be key there and uh, keeping your attention on the golf ball and not the lake in the distance is really going to be the, the effort there. The tenth hole in the ridge course is one where you're actually working your way back up the hill. Uh, the bunkering off the tee is tremendous, very strategic, but very impressive to look at. Play your shot into the fairway, you're going to leave yourself about 110 yards uphill to a, a small green, very well protected on the right side. Of course, there's more to Predator Ridge than just golf. It's a wonderful place to get away, relax, and do a whole lot of nothing. You can take in the luxurious Avita Concept Salon and Spa, dine in the wide range of restaurant options, and sample some of the great Okanagan wine. We're in the Okanagan. It's an absolutely uh, incredible place in terms of things to do throughout the summer. Uh, you know, lake activities in the morning. You've got Kalamalka, Okanagan Lake, uh, right beside you. Uh, the golf is phenomenal, not only here, but around uh, uh, in the area. And uh, the wines, 
you know, the, the wine tours are definitely something that's really caught the attention of the consumer and uh, it's really an amazing place to, to take it all in. And if you truly fall in love with Predator Ridge, as so many have done, then you can even live here with plenty of great options to make this stunning locale your home. Ultimately, Predator Ridge is a thriving community. Uh, we have uh, about 500 homeowners here already that are creating the Predator Ridge community. Not only is it a huge resort and a very popular destination, but people are actually living here and we have a tremendous array of products that uh, offer them a great place to stay and live. Predator Ridge, an award-winning, world-class destination golf resort. The Kootenai Rockies, a spectacular alpine landscape of dramatic elevation changes, lush forests, abundant wildlife, and rugged peaks. And of course, fabulous golf. With more than 25 courses to choose from, a golf getaway to the Kootenays is a trip of a lifetime. Let's begin with a course that is regarded as one of the best in the country. Located in the spectacular alpine setting at Panorama Mountain Village, Grey Wolf is recognized as one of the top courses in Canada and is about as impressive as mountain golf gets. Designed by Doug Carrick, Grey Wolf features many holes that will be seared in your memory bank for a long time. The dynamite collection of holes is capped by the diabolical cliffhanger hole, unquestionably one of the best in the world. While the sixth hole will take your breath away, the rest of the course at Grey Wolf will challenge your senses and your shot making. Grey Wolf Golf Course is the kind of course that wins people over time and time again. Located on a secluded plateau overlooking the confluence of the Kootenai and Columbia Rivers, the Castlegar Golf Club is the perfect location for a serene excursion from the hectic pace of everyday life. Only minutes from downtown Castlegar, you're instantly transported to a golfer's paradise. Despite the charming beginnings to Castlegar with its design by committee original approach, the course has developed into a challenging track that can be a test for even the best golfers. For skiers, the mountain city of Fernie is famous for its endless powder and thrilling slopes. The golfers too can have the time of their lives in Fernie. Boasting a mature championship level layout that serves up stunning mountain views at every turn, the Fernie Golf and Country Club is an absolute treat. Dating back to 1918, this is also a club with plenty of history. The course at Fernie offers a beautiful blend of old and new in its design. It's solid from start to finish. Considered by many to be one of the flagships of the Kootenai Rockies golf courses, Kokanee Springs resides in a magnificent mountain setting on Kootenai Lake, and every hole is framed by spectacular panoramic views of the Kokanee Glacier and surrounding area. At Kokanee Springs, it's all about getting away from it all. The spacious property allows you to take in everything this natural setting offers. There's no doubt that this is a hidden gem that the whole country should enjoy. Three hours from Calgary in the heart of the Rocky Mountains, is the world famous Fairmont Hot Springs Resort. People have been coming here for years to relax in the natural hot springs of this luxurious resort. However, Fairmont is known for something else as well. Great golf. With two 18-hole courses and a nine-hole family course, the Fairmont Hot Springs Resort offers something for everyone. The mountainside course winds through tall stands of spruce and fir, and the Columbia Valley vistas offer spectacular views. The headwaters of the mighty Columbia River figure prominently in the riverside course design. All of the charming par threes use the gently winding river to guard the greens, and the signature hole number five crosses the river twice. The creekside course completes the Fairmont Hot Springs collection, offering nine holes of challenging par threes on unique fairways. Creekside is perfect for players of all abilities, even seasoned golfers who need a little practice time around the green, and it's part of Fairmont Springs commitment to make the resort family friendly. Our next stop in the Kootenays takes us to Rossland and the Redstone Golf Club, a course that combines superb scenery, interesting layouts, elevation changes, and the fun of watching a drive that normally travels about 230 yards go about 260. Redstone is an excellent example of a modern golf course in a historical setting. Les Ferber was able to combine the historical charm of the original track with a modern course that's both enjoyable and challenging to play. And we're nowhere near finished showcasing the best courses in the Kootenays. We'll get back to more tee boxes in that region later in the show. When we come back, we'll take a break from travel to sit down with the PGA Tour's Anthony Kim.
Well, let's take a break from showing you some of the great resorts from coast to coast and spend a little time with a guy who does do a lot of traveling, but it's mostly to follow the PGA Tour. He is one of the hottest young golfers in the world. And this week on RBC Golf Gives Back, it's Anthony Kim. Golf Gives Back, brought to you by RBC. RBC is a proud sponsor of Anthony Kim and his charities. I'm Anthony Kim, born in Los Angeles, California, currently residing in Dallas, Texas. My family is my support system. They're always there for me and uh, have always stuck by me. So they've, uh, they've really helped me develop uh, as an adult and as a professional golfer and can't thank them enough. I'd say the greatest thing that's happened to me on the golf course is, is when my dad put a club in my hand. I don't remember what, what club it was, when it was, uh, but he said it too. He put a club in my hand and, and I just went with it. So that's given me the opportunity I have now and, and the fact that I get to play golf for a living. Uh, so I, I would say that's the greatest thing as far as off the golf course, the fact that I get to help people. It's not one thing. Uh, I feel blessed that people want to be around me and, and want to watch me play golf and if there's anything I can do to help kids that's my main priority I, I love kids I feel like they can talk to me because uh, we may have the same reading level but they they really they really make my day just because of the fact that they enjoy it it's genuine and and you get to be around kids all day one of the main things my mom always taught me was that when I do or if I do ever make it to be somebody uh, be somebody kids look up to and, and be somebody kids can 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 reach out and touch and and uh, wanna wanna be like so that's always stuck in my mind and the fact that I get to do some things with the first tee uh, Ian's Friends Foundation I feel very blessed and, and hopefully I get to he help out more kids and uh, they want to be a little bit more like me hi I'm PJ Tour professional Anthony Kim come out to Shaughnessy Golf and Country Club for the RBC Canadian Open, July 18th through 24. Staying with the Kootenai region, let's check out some golf in Kimberley. The people are friendly, the days are warm, and there's a Bavarian charm that makes Kimberley an amazing spot for a golf getaway. A golf course certainly doesn't have to be 7,200 yards long to be an excellent all-around test of golf. Consider the classic Kimberley Golf Club, a club which dates back to the early 1920s and proudly boasts one of the prettiest most charming and, yes, challenging golf courses in the Kootenai Rockies. From the stirring start high on a ledge to the deceiving 18th, the course is laced with fun, one-of-a-kind golf fools. With the tricky greens and the tree-lined fairways, you're in for a true test of golf. The Trickle Creek Golf Resort is an edge-of-your-seat golf experience you'll talk about long after your round is complete. Les Ferber has come up with a course that takes advantage of the ruggedly handsome natural features here, course twists and turns through the valleys and slopes by North Star Mountain. This is golf in a thoroughly alpine setting. Another Ferber design in the Kimberley area is Bootleg Gap, a 27-hole facility that opened in 2002. Bootleg Gap swoops and dives among hoodoos and pines in a panoramic setting above the St. Mary River. Plunging into the Tranquil River Valley, the many isolated tree-lined holes at Bootleg Gap speak volumes of this area's wild and rugged appeal. Some holes cruise along an open plateau, offering dramatic views of the river and the Rockies, making the experience of Bootleg Gap a thrilling ride that will be etched in your memory for a long time. Every May, a shadow appears below the ridge of Fisher Peak. The shadow is an image of a bear walking the mountain. According to native folklore, the bear is the protector of the valley. And when you golf at Shadow Mountain on a summer evening, you may witness this phenomenon. It's in this legendary setting that Shadow Mountain Golf Club was created course that is in tune with Mother Nature. Each hole at Shadow Mountain has its own character and personality, meandering through mature forests and featuring large contoured greens, rolling bent grass fairways, and rugged classic bunkering that will define each and every hole. Created in an inspiring mountain setting overlooking Lake Windermere, the Copper Point Golf Club has the town of Windermere on the golfing map. There are two courses here for you to enjoy, the original Copper Point which opened in 2004 and the newer Ridge Course, which opened in 2008. Both courses flow naturally with timeless and strategic golf holes, and each hole has a distinct personality and perfect combination of playability and challenge. 
If you love peaceful, tucked away mountain golf courses, you're simply going to love the Golden Golf Club. Situated in the beautiful Columbia River Valley, it offers one of the most enjoyable golfing experiences you'll find anywhere in Canada. The front nine was designed by Bill Newis and opened in 1986. Ten years later, the club opened the newly designed back nine. Les Ferber created what some say is his finest nine-hole layout, and the two nines complement each other perfectly. Newis and Ferber have done some of their best working sculpting this fun but challenging layout. Eagle Ranch Golf Resort is located high on the bluffs overlooking the magnificent trio of Lake Windermere, the Columbia Wetlands, and the town of Invermere. The resort's centerpiece? 18 magical holes of golf perched along ancient bluffs overlooking the Columbia River. A stirring setting made even more dramatic by its rocky and Purcell Mountain views. Every now and then a golf course comes along that goes beyond our expectations. It's even better than anticipated. St. Eugene is one of these courses. Celebrating its 10th anniversary in 2010, St. Eugene has been one of the best golfing experiences in British Columbia for a decade. Complete with a casino and a 125 room resort, St. Eugene has it all. Designed by Les Ferber, St. Eugene offers a rich variety of environments and is destined to join the ranks of famous courses that attract golfers to the Rockies from around the world. The Kootenai Rockies in beautiful British Columbia. Historic, scenic, challenging, that's what Canadian golf is all about. Did you enjoy the Vancouver Winter Olympics? Wait until you see the golf courses out at Whistler, coming up after this break. Well, in 2010, Whistler was, of course, the focus of the world with the Winter Olympics there. But now, summertime, it should be the focus of golfers. Four great golf courses make up that Whistler consortium, and they are four gems. Let's show you now as we head out to Whistler, British Columbia. Only two hours from Vancouver along the scenic and much improved Sea to Sky Highway, Whistler, British Columbia is one of the world's most popular ski resorts. Home to several events at the 2010 Winter Olympics, Whistler is a true winter sports paradise. However, the area is not just for winter sports enthusiasts. With four spectacular courses, a golf vacation at Whistler is the perfect getaway. And the fun is just beginning once you finish your round for the day. Whistler was designed with the visitor in mind. The village boasts some of the best restaurants in the world, as well as a wide variety of accommodation choices to fit every budget. Browse the more than 200 shops and stores, or go biking or walking along the trails. For the more adventuresome, the mountain setting offers exciting summertime activities, such as zip lining or mountain biking. It's easy to get excited about Whistler Golf, too. We begin our tour of the courses in the area with a familiar name. Jack Nicklaus has designed more than 150 courses around the world, but Nicklaus North was only the second to which the Golden Bear has attached his name, a tribute to his long and warm relationship with Canadian golf. Nicholas North is situated in a valley, which means that you're always surrounded by the mountains and always feel as if you're in the frame of a picture. At the foot of breathtaking Mount Curry, award-winning golf course architect Bob Cup fashioned a modern-day tribute to traditional golf. Big Sky Golf and Country Club. Nature has blessed Big Sky with as peaceful and breathtakingly beautiful a setting for golf as can be found anywhere. Stand on the first tee of the Whistler Golf Club and instantly you'll understand why Arnold Palmer chose this as the location for his first Canadian design. Snow-capped peaks surround the course in all directions. Ancient cedars and majestic fir trees line the fairways. Winding streams, nine lakes and white sand bunkers punctuate perfectly manicured greens and an occasional black bear sauntering across the fairway is not an uncommon sight. Distinctly different from the other golf Whistler properties, the Fairmont Chateau Whistler Golf Club offers classic mountain golf as its finest. Carved from the side of Blackcomb Mountain, this Robert Trent Jones Jr. design features an elevation change of over 400 feet and dramatic elevated views of the Whistler Valley. There's something to do at Whistler every day, whether it's a thrilling adventure or just some quiet time listening to nature and absorbing the magnificent scenery. Whistler Village has it all. We head next to Niagara Falls, one of the world's natural wonders. Each year, millions of visitors travel to Niagara, take in the spectacle, and enjoy the beauty of the area. In recent years, golf has become another reason to travel to the Niagara Peninsula. The area now boasts several top golf courses, along with the attractions and amenities. Niagara is the perfect place for a golf getaway. 
At the head of the class are the Niagara Parks Commission courses, the two at Legends on the Niagara and the historic Whirlpool. At Legends, the pedigree speaks for itself. Tom McBroom designed Usher's Creek Golf Course, while Doug Carrick created the course called Battlefield. Usher's Creek has a rolling tree-lined course, while Battlefield has, for the most part, a more open field. Battlefield is so named because of its proximity to the War of 1812's Battle of Chippewa. Now golfers can attack both courses and, happily, they're likely to come away feeling invigorated for the experience. One of Niagara's best courses is one of its oldest. The Whirlpool Golf Course opened in 1951 and is still consistently ranked as one of the top courses in Canada. Whirlpool is owned and operated by the Niagara Parks Commission, meaning everything is first rate from the service to the care that's given in keeping the course in pristine condition. Whirlpool was designed by famed architect Stanley Thompson, and as usual his design has stood the test of time. From the back tees it plays over 7,000 yards against a spectacular backdrop of the Niagara River, Gorge and Whirlpool. One of the nicest features of Niagara as a golf getaway is all the attractions and amenities available in the area. You start with the beauty of the falls itself and the always well-maintained parkland surrounding it, all part of the Niagara Parks Commission. In recent years, Casino Niagara has created a boom that has resulted in an abundance of new first-class luxury hotels and restaurants. There are attractions for all ages, from the quiet historic streets of Niagara on the lake to the hustle and bustle of Clifton Hill. The Niagara area has something for everyone. The Rules of Golf, helping you understand. Brought to you by BDO Chartered Accountants and Advisors. More than you think. Brent, uh, more and more clubs you see asking people to leave the rakes in the bunker, and this is kind of the, a result that can happen. My ball came in, it landed up here, it rolled down. Now it's kind of braced against that. Obviously, I can't play the shot with this uh, with this rake in the way, but, but what do I do now? Well, first and foremost, we, we would encourage clubs where possible to leave the rakes outside bunkers, if at all possible. I know at our championships and PGA Tour events that's encouraged that they are left outside. The, the overriding principle of that is that more harm can come to a player when it's left inside than it could outside. But here, this rake has the status of what the rules call is a movable obstruction. So you are entitled to relief from that. You can just go ahead and pick up the rake. See what happens here. Now the ball has moved. And now the trick here is that we need to put it back in, the, in its original position, and we can see where it was. Oh, and tap, it, tap it down a bit? No, you can't tap it down a bit at all. You need to, you need to just place it, and, and now we need to start moving it around to find a spot where the ball will come to rest. <laughs> I'm on a hill. It's pretty tough. There we go. Okay. And fortunately, we were able to find a spot. <laughs> But in a situation where we couldn't, and, and you can imagine if it's a very steep slope, it would be near impossible to find a spot that isn't closer to the hole and that isn't in the bunker. They're going to have to go outside of the bunker, and because of the placement of the rake, they're going to incur a one-stroke uh, one stroke penalty. So if the ball just kept continued to roll down, we couldn't find it, I'd go outside there, and so one-stroke penalty. Yeah, you'd be penalized. You could actually incur a penalty because your ball is resting up against the rake. So golf clubs, let's, say, let's leave those rakes outside the bunker. I don't want those penalties, and thanks for clearing that one up for us. Next, we'll head to the opposite side of the country for a look at golf in Prince Edward Island. Well, Prince Edward Island is a very special spot for golf. In fact, the readers of Score Golf magazine time and time again have voted it the number one golf destination in Canada. It's easy to see why. A great relaxed atmosphere, wonderful seafood, and of course, all those great golf courses. Let's head out and have a look. Prince Edward Island is Canada's smallest province, yet it's very big on golf. Year after year, it's consistently regarded as one of the best destinations anywhere in the country. And a main reason for this are the four big courses that have put Prince Edward Island on the map. Brudenell River, Dunder Rave, the Lynx at Crowbush Cove, and Mill River. All four offer great golf in a Rod Signature Resort, the ultimate combination for a golf vacation. Brudenell River offers relaxed golf that's still challenging. The course has an interesting assortment of holes in a generally open area that's subject to the winds off the river of the same name. And the layout has six par threes, six par fours, and six par fives. With fairways that are generally wide and inviting, Rudinell plays fair but requires you to mix finesse with strength. All this in a serene setting that'll surely make you forget those missed two-foot putts. 
On the same property as Brudenell River, you'll find Dunderay. Named after a castle in Scotland, the course winds through mature forests, wetlands, and open meadows, and provides a contrast and challenge in natural setting from the original Brudenell course. While the holes along the river are spectacular, there's no doubt that the red sand bunkers, which average seven per hole, are the signature of Dunderay. We head next to the crown jewel of golf on Prince Edward Island, the Lynx at Crowbush Cove. Consistently ranked in the top 10 in the country, Crowbush was designed by Tom McBroom and is a visual delight for anyone. At Crowbush, you'll find wide fairways that invite you to swing away. Holes play out from the tasteful clubhouse toward the ocean and then back along wide swaths of land. There are carries over wetlands and holes that move near the shore. Green sites nestled behind pot bunkers. Course breaks open in places and then tightens up in other areas. The views at times are breathtaking. With the ocean coming so close, you'll feel the spray off the waves. Take your camera along, as well as every club in your bag. We next head west on the banks of one of the province's historic waterways. Mill River is recognized as a resort that provides exceptional golfing value. Mill River, the site of the Big Break Prince Edward Island, has much to offer. It plays through woodlands, yet provides that wide open feeling that's so much a part of PEI golf. At 6,826 yards, Mill River will surprise low handicappers with its series of challenges, yet it welcomes high handicappers because it is eminently fair. It's not surprising that first class accommodation is available on site at all of these golf courses. The Rod Resorts offer everything you need for the ultimate golf getaway. From the luxurious cabins at Brudenell River Resort to the deluxe rooms at the Crowbush Golf and Beach Resort, there's the perfect type of accommodation to suit all budgets and tastes. And each of them, of course, have all the amenities required for fun and relaxation. You can head to the beach at Crowbush, go horseback riding at Brudenell, or have a relaxing massage at Mill River Spa. If you prefer a more central location for your stay, a visit to the historic Rod's Charlottetown is a great idea. Located in the heart of the province's capital, this elegant hotel also offers the same golf packages you find at the other Rod resorts and still is a short drive away from any of the courses. Speaking of short drives, just outside of Charlottetown is the town of Stratford, home to the Fox Meadow Golf and Country Club. Architect Robert Heaslip engaged the natural surroundings and created a course rich in scenery with each hole having a character of its own. Fox Meadow offers a lot of risk-reward holes, and on many of them the wind will determine the club selection. And with the Canadian Golf Academy on site, Fox Meadow is the perfect place to work on all aspects of your game. New this year, Rod Resorts now handles all food and beverage services, bringing their great customer service and experience to make your day complete at Fox Meadow. One visit to any of the Rod's signature resorts and their golf courses, and you'll no doubt see why PEI was awarded the best undiscovered destination in the world by the International Association of Golf Tour Operators. Prince Edward Island is the ultimate golf getaway. Fabulous courses, spectacular scenery, and first-rate accommodations. What more could you ask for? Throughout the show, we've showcased many courses of a historical nature and many that are history in the making. We continue now with a look at some courses that have helped shape the Canadian golf identity. A number of the courses that we've profiled are the designs of legendary Stanley Thompson, whose work ranges from coast to coast. One of his courses that we haven't mentioned is perhaps one of his best. The Banff Springs Golf Course is truly a classic. While the course sits in the shadow of the Banff Springs Hotel, nature is at its best here, untouched, unspoiled and majestic. No wonder Banff Springs was referred to by world-famous South African Bobby Locke as out of this world. Banff Springs offers two simple things, a breathtaking view in every direction and a magnificent layout that is a true showcase to the talents of Thompson. The original design opened in 1929 and renovations throughout the years have only enhanced Thompson's creativity. The course winds along the Bow River under the snow-capped peaks of Sulphur Mountain and Mount Rundle. With the back tees playing at over 7,200 yards, every hole is memorable and the scenery is unforgettable. The province of Quebec is known for its fascinating past and the Fairmont Le Chateau Montebello Golf Club is recognized today for its exciting and challenging course layout. It was also designed by Thompson in the 1920s and winds tightly through graceful forests and features dramatic elevation changes. Some of its elevated tees provide lovely views of the gentle rolls of the surrounding Laurentians. The Club de Golf Le Manoir Richelieu is home of 27 world-class holes of golf. While keeping the essence of the original design, 
architect Daryl Huxa managed to showcase the natural beauty of the Charlevoix region. The golf experience here starts with an exclusive panoramic trail leading directly to the clubhouse. While you drive your cart up the kilometer and a half trail, you can enjoy the magnificent views offered all around. Part of your stay here should include a visit to the Manoir de Salou. This fortress on the St. Lawrence also offers a casino for some nighttime enjoyment. Great golf in historic settings. When it comes to Canadian golf vacations, you make a little history of your own with memories that will last a lifetime. Thinking about visiting Toronto this summer? We'll show you the city's best courses. Well, when you think about taking a visit to Toronto, you'd think about maybe going to see a play, maybe taking in a Blue Jays game, maybe going up the CN Tower. But if you don't bring your golf clubs along, you're missing out. There is some fabulous golf in the GTA, some of the best in the country. Let's show you. Perhaps the most recognized golf course in the Toronto area is the legendary Glen Abbey Golf Club in Oakville. Designed by Jack Nicklaus, Glen Abbey is one of Canada's most prestigious courses and has played host to the Canadian Open for nearly a quarter of a century. The course features emerald fairways and severely rolling sculptured greens that are well protected by steep bunkers. At over 7,000 yards from the back tees, the course plays exceptionally tough for the pros, yet it's surprisingly accommodating for the shorter tees. Play the course that the pros love to play and challenge. Glen Abbey Golf Club in Oakville, Ontario. The Copper Creek Golf Club is set amidst the rolling hills and forests of the Humber River Valley. One look at this course and you'll fall in love with the setting, the challenge and the ambiance. Copper Creek was designed by Doug Carrick and it's a course that plays on two levels. After the first three holes, the next eight are played in the beautiful Humber River Valley. Copper Creek is big and bold with wide sloping fairways and there are enormous bunkers that break up the landscape strategically and challenge you to the limit. Again, it's Doug Carrick at his best. If you're looking for a course that's beautiful to look at, challenging to play and a study in timeless architectural principles, you need go no further than the impressive Eagles Nest Golf Club just north of Toronto. Doug Carrick's long been one of Canada's top architects, but here he went the extra step or two and built a course that will stand the test of time and excite any golfer who has the pleasure of playing it. The views are remarkable as the course plummets to valley holes and then rises before moving back to the valley holes once again on the back nine. The fescue and the ragged sprawling bunkers demand accuracy off the tee, and the undulating greens will examine your ability to read putts and control speed. Carrick was given a blank canvas and moved heaven and earth to create a course that will test the best golfers in the game. Even though it's just minutes from the madness of downtown Toronto, Angus Glen is nestled nicely into one of Mother Nature's works of art known as the Rouge Valley. Angus Glen is home to two championship courses. The South Course hosted the Canadian Open in 2002 and the North Course hosted the event in 2007. The South Course at Angus Glen is bold through all of its 7,400 yards. Here in the Rouge Valley, every aspect of nature comes into play on all 18 holes, and architect Doug Carrick once again worked his magic. The North Course sprawls over 200 acres, filled with water, sod wall bunkers, and fescue blowing in the wind. Golf in Toronto. It's big, it's bold, and it's beautiful. When it comes to scenic golf courses, Canada ranks right up there with the best in the world. We could spend hours highlighting the beautiful courses, but let's showcase a few from across the country. We begin in Alberta with the Jasper Park Lodge Golf Course. Designed by Stanley Thompson in the 1920s, Jasper has matured to near perfection. It offers a perfect combination of challenge and scenery stretched across its 18 holes. And around here is a complete without a sighting of the wildlife that also calls the course home. It's no wonder that Jasper has been ranked by Score Golf Magazine as Canada's number one golf resort time and time again. St. Andrews by the Sea, a town founded in 1783 on the southwest corner of New Brunswick, is home to the Fairmont Algonquin Resort and the Algonquin Golf Course. McBroom was given the assignment of redesigning what had been here for more than a hundred years. In creating the Fairmont Algonquin Golf Course, he took full advantage of the rare ocean setting opening up superb views from almost every hole, including the stunning signature hole number 14. With the fabulous Fairmont Algonquin Resort now in its second century of first-class hospitality, the Algonquin is the perfect place for a golf getaway in Atlantic Canada. 
Set upon the rolling bluffs and canyon-cut ravines overlooking spectacular Kamloops Lake, Tobiano captures the essence of Kamloops golf. Designed by Tom McBroom, one of Canada's premier golf architects, Tobiano Golf is a par 72, 18-hole work of art. This may be McBroom's finest work, and he used his entire palette in designing a course like no other. The site of the historic Six Mile Ranch has been transformed from rugged bench lands into a golf course that is as visually captivating as it is thrilling to play. The Muskoka region has long since established its reputation as Ontario's leading summer tourist region. Famous for its scenic lakes, rugged terrain and stunning cottages, it also has the added attraction of great golf. And one of the best in the Ontario cottage country area is Taboo. Designed by Ron Garl and overlooking Lake Muskoka, Taboo is a perfect fit for its spectacular setting. Each hole is framed with mature trees and extraordinary views. The Muskoka landscape adds to the challenge, and there are fairways over rolling fields of green, striking rock formations of ancient granite, and natural elevation changes on almost every hole. When it comes to scenery in Ontario Cottage Country, the par 4 6 hole at the Big Wind Island Golf Course may offer the most spectacular view that a golf course could have, looking out into the far beyond from a tee elevated some 150 feet above the fairway. That far beyond comprises islands in the Lake of Bays, including one called Pancake Island. You could stand here for an hour not caring about hitting a golf shot, but simply taking in the view. Our final stop takes us to the Sagebrush Golf and Sporting Club. As a private boutique golf and fly fishing destination, Sagebrush is nestled in the heart of British Columbia's beautiful Nicola Valley. Designed by PGA Tour professional Richard Zokel along with acclaimed course architect Rod Whitman, Sagebrush is designed in true Lynx fashion. The arid climate will contribute to firm and fast running fairways, a prerequisite for the minimalist style course. Named Score Golf's best new Canadian course for 2009, Richard Zokel's vision of a remarkable golf experience in spectacular setting is a reality. Sagebrush Golf and Sporting Club. More of Canada's best golf courses still to come as we wrap up Score Golf's travel show after this break. Well, if we haven't already wet your appetite enough with some of the golf courses we've shown you in some of the great destinations, here's another group. They don't really fit together geographically, but boy, are they special. These are some of the best golf destinations in the entire country. If you want to get away from it all, then there's perhaps no better place in all of Canada than Cape Breton Island, a place where the rugged landscape meets a gentle spirit and time is all but stilled. It's this spectacular setting that inspired Canadian legend Stanley Thompson to create a national treasure, Highlands Lynx. Nestled in the Cape Breton Highlands National Park along the Cabot Trail, Highlands Lynx is the crown jewel of Nova Scotia's golf directory. Golf heaven on earth is just one term used to describe this course that is consistently rated in the top 100 courses in the world and certainly one of the best in Canada. Thompson stated nature must always be the architect's model and he certainly had nature on his side here. When Thompson designed what he called the Mountains and Ocean Course back in 1939, it was considered his masterpiece and an inspired piece of architecture. In 1997, Highlands Links underwent a massive renovation, which not only made it new and improved, but also old and improved. Some of its original designs were reinstalled by designer Graham Cook to further enhance the vision created so many years before by Stanley Thompson. Highlands Links offers one of the most exhilarating walks through 11 kilometers of golf course. Thompson's creative genius together with Graham Cook's feeling for the land have made Highlands Links nature's grandeur and a Canadian splendor by the sea. Dakota Dunes Golf Links, which opened to the public in 2004, is located on the historical white-capped Dakota First Nation lands at the heights of the South Saskatchewan River Valley Basin. This 18-hole, full-service, natural masterpiece was designed by Graham Cook and Wayne Carlton. Dakota Dunes Golf Links is laid spaciously throughout natural sand formations and the indigenous prairie grasses that surround its edges. Five tee decks provide yardages ranging from 5,100 to 7,300 yards and make it very playable. Ontario's cottage country is a visual delight. The rocky terrain and crystal blue lakes are the perfect ingredients for designing a championship golf course. And an excellent example of this is the Ridge at Manitou, located near McKellar, Ontario, about 20 minutes northeast of Parry Sound. 
The Ridge at Manitou is a pleasure to play, featuring a beautiful, serene layout designed by Tom McBroom. Each hole presents a distinctive personality, leading into pristine forest with rolling fairways, rocky oak croppings, and peaceful meadows before returning into the woods and finishing at Manitou Wabing Lake. McBroom called his work an immersion into the landscape, and so it is. The Ridge at Manitou began as a private club, but now is open for all to enjoy, and there is so much to enjoy. The Ridge at Manitou is a natural treasure not to be missed. As we continue our trek west, we head to the Springs at Radium Golf Resort, situated on the western edge of the village of Radium Hot Springs. The two courses, the Springs and the Resort, both offer panoramic views of the Columbia Valley, the Purcell and Rocky Mountain Ranges, and also the marshes of the Columbia River below. This sheltered location means that the golf season lasts from March to October. The Springs course opened in 1988. The Les Ferber design makes the most of its impressive terrain. The result is that the holes offer exceptional views and a fine variety of golf shots. Out of the way and out of this world, just a few courses that make Canada a great place to really get away. Week Speaks is brought to you by Bushnell, makers of the new hybrid laser GPS rangefinder. Have you noticed the price of gas? That's kind of a silly question. I think everybody's noticed that it's just sky high. And for that reason, rather than taking a long drive this summer, consider taking a short drive. If you live in New Brunswick, head over to St. Andrews by the Sea and check out that golf course. If you live in Saskatchewan, maybe drive over to Dakota Dunes and play there. The point is, folks, there are so many great opportunities to play golf in this country that are just a short drive away. It won't hit you in the wallet because it won't cost you that much to drive there and you'll save lots of time and enjoy yourself. There are some great, great golf destinations, big and small, far and wide. So check those out this year. Stay in Canada this year rather than driving down south or maybe taking a trip over to Europe to play. Well, that's all the time we have for this week on Score Golf TV. I hope you've enjoyed our show. We have shown you some wonderful golf destinations, hopefully put a little bug in your mind about where you want to visit this summer, and even if you want to just stay at home and play golf. Have a great summer doing it. Check out scoregolf.com for more great travel information, for all sorts of great information, and we will see you next time right here on Score Golf TV. Thanks for watching Score Golf on TSN, the voice of Canadian golf. Score Golf is powered by Volkswagen. From one good drive to another. Jack Link's Beef Jerky, Feed Your Wild Side, Via Rail Canada, proud sponsor of golf in Canada.